Hello again, Tom here from Wheeler Automotive. Today, showing you around this absolute stunner. This is a 2012 on a 61 plate Audi A5. Uh, it's the 3 litre V6 turbo diesel. It's the S line. It's the uh, the four door coupe version. Um, it's got a really cracking sized boot on them. Um, yeah, I think these cars are just absolutely superb. This one's got um, an excellent service history, a full service history. We've got nine services at Audi main dealers and the last service was at an independent garage. It's only had two owners from new. It starts, stops and drives like a new car. It's only done 68 and a half thousand miles. Um, really good spec on it. It's got the 20 inch Le Mans alloys. It's got the Bang & Olufsen stereo. It's got full black leather interior, heated front seats. It's got the nav, the Audi music interface. Yeah, it's, it's got all the things that uh, certainly I would be looking for on one of these. Um, does have the auto Zen on headlights at the front as well. Front and rear parking sensors. Yeah, all round a really cracking car um, in really nice condition as well so up on the front end on this near side I think that's a bug yeah that's a bug there's no scratches on this bumper corner both the headlights are nice and clear a couple of little stone chips on this front end but I mean very minor the bonnet's in really good shape not really any stone chips on that to be honest. The grill's in really good shape. The offside's in good shape. Again, nice clear light. Uh, both the headlights do have LED DRLs. There is the faintest of scratches on here. I'm not even sure it's going to show up on the camera, but there's a very faint scratch on here. Really like these alloys. There's a little bit of curbing on them, but uh, I still think they're very presentable. It does have a matching set of Pirelli P0s all round, which is always a good sign. This tire is about half worn, loads of life in it. Very small lip on the discs, and the pads are super thick as well. So the front brakes have got lots of life in them. Driver's door, not really a mark on it to be fair. The wing mirror's got a little, tiny little scratch on it just here. Very, very minor. All the glass is lovely. There's no chips or cracks in the windscreen. Uh, I do have both keys with the car as well. Offside rear door, there is a little stone chip or car park door ding just here. Try and show it. That's it though on that door. Again, all the glass is nice. Rear quarter is excellent. Another lovely 20 inch wheel, the Pirelli P0 on it. Rear disc, same as the front, just a small lip on them. And the pads, let's see if we can show it there. They're about half worn, I'd say. So plenty of life in all the brakes. Round to the rear, love how these things look. It's such a good looking car. There's no um, real Dents or scratches, I can tell you, on the rear bumper. Both the lights are all good. They are LEDs. Um, there is a tiny little mark here on the bumper where stuff's probably gone in that, the bumper I would expect. But yeah, absolutely ginormous boot on these. And I like the, the parcel shelf kind of attaches to the underside of the, um, the glass there. I'm just gonna shut this so that bee doesn't go in. There you go. Yeah, as I said, we've got rear sensors as well. Both the rear lights are all good. Near side, just as good as the offside, to be fair. There's, there's a little car park door ding just here. Another lovely 20 inch wheel with a Pirelli P0 on it. Discs and pads, same as the other side. Near side rear door, can't see a mark on it. In fairness, 
The front door as well is very good. There's a couple of little car park door dings. There's one there. And that's probably about it actually. And the wing mirror's got a little scuff on it. Very minor. And then finally, back round to this front wing, there's a car park door little chip just here. But that's, uh, oh, and there's another one lower down just here. And we've got the last 20 inch wheel. Again, we've got a bit of curving around it, but nothing, nothing serious. Discs and pads, same as the other side. Those pads don't look old at all. Let's try and get in there, there you go. Really thick pads. So externally, I think it looks cracking in the silver. It's nice not to have a, another black one. They all seem to be black. Um, yeah, absolutely cracking cars these. I, I love this engine. Sold lots of cars with these engines. Never had a problem with them. Very reliable, very powerful, and very economical for what they are as well. So inside we've got a uh, really clean door card there. The front seats, both are really tidy. The dash is, is very tidy. In fact, the whole interior is pretty much immaculate. Um, it's got a, it's got original Audi mats in and there's no scratches or scuffs or anything on the inside to be fair. Rear seats again, really, really clean. Show you the other side. Again, it's just spotless. Rear seats, backs of rear seats, there's a little nick in here, look. And there's a little scratch on this seat here, but that is, that's pretty much it guys, to be honest. And we've got the driver's one, obviously we've got four electric windows, heated electric mirrors which can fold driver's seat just some very very minor wear on this bolster but otherwise pretty much immaculate if we get in you can see it done just over 68 and a half thousand miles um, and in here it's incredibly clean um, the car's never been smoked in I can just tell that Leather multifunction S line steering wheel with flappy paddles each side. Auto Xenon headlights. We do have cruise control. And yeah, heated seats on the front. Dual zone climate control with aircon. The aircon blows ice cold. Um, let's get it in there and I'll turn this up because it is quite warm today. I was doing it. Nice way. Turn that off. Do have a dab radio as well. Um, and it does have the Audi media interface just over there. So you can get a um, you can get a, a Bluetooth adapter or whatever you like really and, and stream music from your phone should you wish to. Uh, but everything in here works exactly as it should. It's in very, very clean condition. No strange smells or anything like that. Um, we do have, you can see there's no warnings on the dash or anything like that. I've gone into support mode for some reason. Um, yeah, so we've got DAB radio, we've got Wago Media. It does have SD card media as well. Uh, but there's no SD card in there at the minute. We do have auto um, hold, which is really useful. Um, we've got nav, I'll show you the map, really nice and clear, let's go out a bit, nav on these, nice and quick, um, some sat navs can be pretty old and clunky but this one's excellent, I'm just opening that door because there's a bee about to attack me, um, but yeah, everything in here works very very well, nice clean condition, a couple of cup holders there, this armrest comes up and forward um, and we do have another charge port in there, I believe there's another one in here, yep, another one just there, um, but yeah, really really tidy car, 
uh, in, in excellent condition that's been very well looked after. <coughs> Leave that door open so that bee will fly away hopefully. But there it is, a lovely V6 purring away. Such a cracking engine that. And there it is, our 2012 Audi A5 S-Line.